YouTube. Just want to do a quick video of my ST450 quadcopter frame. I got done building it. I've actually flown it already. I'm still trying to get rid of the rollover issue I'm having with the, my other frame, the F450 up there. You can see it. One broken arm, so I figured I'd get this one, give it a try. Uh, it's a good frame. Fairly sturdy. The arms are a little bit weak. Uh, they're made out of aluminum. So if you get a get enough hit on it, um, it'll bend. Um, this one actually bent. Um, I crashed it at about maybe four feet high. Hit the arm, bent it right there, but I just strained it back up. There's the a Horizon HD version 2 camera right there. Sandwiched in between foams. That's LCD right there on top of it. NASA and all the other stuff on it. Okay. I'm using a 10 inch props. But yeah, I figured, um, I think I narrowed it down to the motor, what's causing the rollover issue with mine. Because um, I think it's a motor 2 and 3, which is on the left, which would be these two. Um, it finally gave out. Uh, I couldn't get them to spin. Uh, I'd have to keep pushing the throttle up and down, up and down to finally get them to spin without stalling. So I figured that was the cause. These two motors. These two spin just fine. So I got motors. I'm going to switch those out. Put different motors on them. Brand new ones. Well, the same motors, but new ones. And fly it in this frame to see if that would get rid of the problem. Um, once I figure out that that's it and it flies great, I'm going to be switching everything off of this frame onto the uh, HD FPV I just got in the mail today, so I'll do a video of that in a little bit. So yeah, uh, my gains are from Dave Slack on uh, YouTube, D Slack on YouTube. I'm using the same gains as he's using, um, which is right there. Come on, there you go. Focus, focus. Because he doesn't want to focus. Basic gains: uh, pitch, roll, yaw. What is that? A vertical? Yeah, vertical. One fifty-nine, one fifty-nine, one thirty, one eighty, and then attitude is one twenty, one twenty cross. Okay. So yep, yeah, I. Plugged in the motors. I unplugged all the motors from the NASA and I plugged them in one by one. And you know, to see if it was the NASA's problem, it's not. Uh, I thought it was a battery issue, it's not because I've switched it with another battery. Use that battery, which is a 3300 milliamp four cell. And I switched it with this 1800 milliamp four cell also. That one's a Gents Ace, this one's Sky Lipo, and it's doing the exact same thing. So Bad motors, hopefully, not bad ESCs. And all the wires are soldered, no bullet connectors whatsoever. So that's my FPV quadcopter for now. Give you a side view. Although it looks the same on all angles, because it's an X. It's a battery for my FPV system. Transmitter right there on the frame with a spiral net, circular polarized antenna. Sorry about the bad lighting, I'm in my man cave. Literally a cave, it's a closet with a door on it. I got AC though. So, yep. Yeah. Thanks for watching.